வந்தேகம் The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is 16th chapter text number 7 given by his divine grace AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada recorded on the 26th of December 1975 in Sanan India न शौचा ना पिचाचार न सत्तम तेषु विद्यते नाउ हियर इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द ओसूर एज स्टेटेड बाय कृष्णा ओसूर एंड देव दैव एंड आसुर विष्णु भक्त भवे दैव आसुर स्तर विपर्ज दे देवास देवता लोक इन द अपर प्लानेटरी सिस्टम बिगिनिंग फ्रॉम द सन देर आर सूर्य लोक चंद्र लोक मंगल बुध बृहस्पति अप टू सेटर्न देर आर डिफरेंट लोकल सो दे अपर प्लानेटरी सिस्टम beginning from surya they are called devaloka they are all devotees of the lord therefore they are called devata they are not pure devotees but they are not disobedient to the orders of the supreme law shuddha bhakta means they do not come to the material world anna vilasita sunnam the shuddha bhakta nitta nitta siddha they do not come to this material world they are everlastingly liberated soul engaged in the service of narayan this material creation is exhibition of one fourth energy of the supreme personality of god the three fourth creation is in the spiritual world vaikuntha lok so in this material world they have come all of us beginning from brahma down to the insignificant ant we have come here for material enjoyment and in this material world according to different desires and karma they are getting different types of bodies karmana daivane trena jantar deha upapatti karmana by our work and by the supervision of the supreme power we are getting different types of bodies so there are two kinds of living entities one kind of living entity they are trying to go back to home back to godhead they are called devatas and the asuras they are not aware of the spiritual world neither they are endeavoring to go back to home back to god so krishna has described about the devotees in so many ways now he is discriminating who are the demons so for the asuras there is no knowledge what is the aim of life so they are described in the shrimad bhagavatam also nate vidu sarthagate hi vishnu durashaya je vahirathmane andha jathandhai rupaniya mana stepi satantra urudamni vadhya these asuras are the persons who are in ignorance in material enjoyment they do not know what is the goal of life everyone is in the bodily concept of life and they are trying to improve the condition of bodily comfort the more we are interested in the bodily comforts of life 
the more we are asuras. So these asuras, they are not very clean, na saucham. Na saucham, na pi cha achara. They have no good behavior, neither they are very clean. Therefore, according to Varnasama Dharma, the Brahmanas are called suchi, means pure. So there is a Bengali Vaishnava poet. He says that suchi hoye muchi hoy, jodi Krishna taje, muchi hoye suchi hoy, jodi Krishna bhaje. The purpose is that if somebody takes to Krishna consciousness, even he is born in the family of muchi, then he becomes suchi. And if a person born in the Brahmin family or Kshatriya family, but he does not take to Krishna consciousness, then he becomes a muchi. This is also confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita. Manghi pratha vipasritya jipisu papajona. Papajoni means muchi, less than the sudras. If he takes to Krishna consciousness, tepi janti parangati. They are also eligible to go back to home, to back to God. So even a muchi or a pabajani born in the low grade family, if he takes to Krishna consciousness, he becomes a devata. This is also confirmed in the Srimad Bhagavatam by Sukadeva Goswami. Kirata hunandha pulinda pukkasa abhira sumbha javana khasadaya. Jenne cho papa, jad upasraya sraya suddhanti prabhavishna virinama. So, it doesn't matter where we are born. If we take to Krishna consciousness, then he becomes a suddha, suchi, purified, and he is eligible to go back to home, to back to God. So to take the shelter of a pure devotee means he knows what is pravitti and what is nivitti. All our Vedic literature is meant for nivitti. Pravitti reshan bhutana nidvitte su mahaphalam. These all living creatures who are struggling for existence in this material world, that is their pravitti to enjoy this material world. But when one becomes inclined to nivitti, he becomes devota. So this Krishna consciousness movement, which was inaugurated by Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, is for nivitti marga. Nivitti marga means no more material enjoyment. Let me make progress towards Krishna consciousness. Therefore, this devotional service or bhakti yoga, it is called nivitti marga. This is confirmed in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Vasudevi Bhagavati bhakti yoga prayajita janayati asu vairagyam jnanancha yadahaitakam. Bhakti yoga and Sarvabhava Bhattacharya, where he was an impersonalist, followers of the Shankar philosophy, when he became convinced about the Vaishnava philosophy, he wrote one hundred slokas, prayers to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Among that sloka, one of the prominent sloka is Vairāgya vidyā nija bhakti yogam sikha tameka purusa prāna Sri Krishna Chaitanya sarīra dhāri kipāṁ buddhijya samaham prapadde. He said that this Chaitanya Mahāprabhu is the same Krishna. He has come to teach vairāgya vidyā nija bhakti yoga. Bhakti yoga means vairāgya vidyā. No more this material enjoyment. That is Vairag. Jnanancha jad ahitakam. The result of Gyan is Vairag. Vairag Vidya, Bhakti Yoga is Vairag Vidya means 
दैट भक्ति परेशान भव विरक्ति अन्न त्या भक्ति मीन्स वन ही इज मेकिंग प्रोग्रेस टुवर्ड्स कृष्ण कॉन्सियसनेस एंड ऑटोमेटिकली ही बिकम डिटेस्टफुल टू द मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड शील रूप गोस्वा में एज गिविन द एग्जाम्पल जस्ट अ हंग्री मैन इफ इज गिविन फोर he takes it but as he takes it he becomes satisfied and when he is fully satisfied he does not require any more food there is another shlok given by jamuna chat he says jadavadhi mama chitta krishna padar vindav nava nava dham aur ranto basi tadavadhi batonari sangame smarjmane भवती मुख विकार असुष्ट निष्ठी बंध ही सेज सिंस आई हैव बीन एनगेज इन द सर्विस ऑफ द रॉ जदवधि मम चित्त कृष्ण पदार बिंद सिंस आई हैव बिगान माय लाइफ टू सर्व कृष्ण सिंस दैट टाइम व्हेन एवर आई थिंक ऑफ सेक्स लाइफ आई स्पाइट ऑन इट सो दैट फॉर व्हेन वी स्टॉप our desires for material enjoyment anna vilasita sunnam gyan karma anabhita karma means to desire to be elevated in the higher planetary system sarvaloka the gyanis they are trying to elevate themselves to the impersonal brahma these are not pure devotional service anna vilasita sunnam no desire for material conception of life so gyana is also another desire negative desire to become free from this material world that is desire sri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu has said bhukti mukti siddhi kame sakali ashant krishna bhakta nishkam atayev shant he said that bhukti kami the material person who are desiring improvement in this world in this life and going to the heavenly planet next life that is called bhukti and mukti desiring liberation that is called mukti and or become one with the supreme brahma that is mukti and siddhi yogis they are trying to achieve some success in ashta siddhi anima dogima so everyone is desire so that for krishna mahaprabhu says krishna bhakta nishka a devotee of krishna he is not desire as of anything either bhukti mukti or siddhi chaitanya mahaprabhu nu kevu che ke krishna no je bhakt che krishna bhakta nishka ata eva shant कोई प्रकार की भूक्ति मुक्ति सिद्धि जो इच्छा होती नहीं संपूर्णपण शांत हो पर्पज इज सो लॉन्ग इन डिजायर समथिंग इन लेवर गेट पीस ऑफ माइंड एंड ए भक्त डज नॉट डिजायर एनीथिंग ही इज सेटिस्फाइड इन एनी पोजिशन वोट एवर इज ऑफर टू हिम बाय कृष्ण नारायण परा सर्वे न कुतश्च न बिंबति स्वर्ग अपवर्ग नरकेशु भी तुल्लार्थ दर्शन एनी वन हु इज नारायण परायण ही डज नॉट फियर वेदर इज गोइंग टू हेल और हेम बिकॉज वेर वेर ई गोज ही इज विथ नारायण ही इज सेफ ही डज मैटर वेदर इट इज हेल और हेम दैट इज ऑफर्ड बाय श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु इन इज प्रेयर न धनांग न जनांग न सुंदरी कवितांग व जगदीश काम है मम जन्मनी जन्मनी ईश्वरे भवता भक्ति रही तू दईडिया इज दैट ए भक्त डज नॉट रिक्वायर एनी मेटीरियल हैप्पीनेस और डिस्ट्रेस ही डज नॉट रिक्वायर एनी मॉनिस्टिक प्रपोजिशन टू मर्ज इन टू द एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ द सुप्रीम and neither he desires any jugglery of ashta siddhi yoga so not to become devata not to become asura 
Asuras are always against Krishna. There are many examples like Sravana and Hiranyakasipu, Kansa. There are many. So we should remember that Devata means who is fully surrendered to the lotus feet of Krishna. So there are many symptoms of the Asuras. They are all described in the sixteenth chapter. It requires a long time to discuss. It is not possible to discuss all the symptoms. But one of the most important symptoms of the Asura is here described. Asatamma Pratishthante Jagadahu Anishara. Their main proposal is that there is no creator God. The modern scientists, philosophers, Western people, they don't accept the God is the creator of everything. And their theory of creation is the chemical composition. One gentleman has written one book, Chemical Evolution. They think that chemical combination is the cause of life. So the Osura's theory of creation is aparasparam sambhutam, himannat kama hetukam. It is a chance theory, but we do want to accept. We are preaching against them, writing books against them. We are challenging this atheistic theory of creation. So this asuric, this Krishna consciousness movement is against the osuras. Every time, always, Krishna also comes down to Kill the Asuras. Paritrana sadhana vinasaya to duskita. The Asuras cannot flourish by their atheistic theory unless one comes to Krishna consciousness. He has to be put into the different types of Asuric journey to suffer in this material world. Krishna says here, tanahang dusatak kurat. Samsareshu Naradhama, Kipami Adasra Asubam Asuri Jonishu. He keeps them always put into this Asuri Jane, everlastingly forgetting the Supreme Personality of Godhead and suffer in this material world. So, so long we remain in the Asuri tendency, then we cannot understand Krishna. That is also described by Krishna in the seventh chapter. Namāna duskita nam mūlhā prapadyante narādhamā māyā apirita jñāna āsuri bhāvamā sutā. So we should generally conclude that anyone who does not take to Krishna consciousness, they fall in the groups of duskriti nam mūlhā narādhamā māyā apirita jñāna. So in the beginning, we discussed nāpi āchāra, sadāchāra. So even one is sort of sadāchāra, Krishna says, opite sudurāchāra, vajate māvanannabhā, sādhureva samantha. Even one is not fully in sadāchāra, but if he has taken Krishna consciousness fully, he is a sādhu. So to take to this Krishna consciousness is made very easy in, during this Kali Yoga, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, in Bakevalam, Kalo Nasteva Nasteva, Gatiranatha. Kalo, in this age, if you take to Krishna consciousness, simply chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna mantra, then you become Devata. This is our problem. So our only request is to you, then whatever position you are, it doesn't require to be changed. Simply take to the Krishna consciousness, chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, and gradually he will become devota. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.